hide them. Hello. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Just give me one second. All right. So I think I'm ready. Perfect. So let's begin. All right. Because the time is too short. And we have like, um, let's see, 30, 30 people here. So there's, there's a lot of people here, right? So we need, to, we need to start as soon as possible here with the evaluations. All right. So let me, let me see. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Gabriel. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Right. Good afternoon, Debra. All right. Hello. Let's see. Good afternoon. So let's let's begin right now. Let me explain the dynamic for the evaluation, right? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say it in Spanish. Lo vamos a hacer en las sesiones eh, privadas. All right, you and me. De esa forma, de aprovecho de una sola vez en decirle su feedback y darle su nota. All right. Así ya no está esperando eh, más tiempo. Right, so, so termina usted, le digo lo bueno y lo malo y su, y su nota. Ya estuvo, all right? Ojo, <coughs> repito, para los nuevos, por favor, eh, una vez terminada la sesión, se queda, la, la, el examen oral se queda. No, nadie se vaya a salir de la reunión porque acuérdense que sus minutos siguen contando, all right? Así que si usted es el primero y pasó, eh, y ya pasó, pues qué chivo por usted. Se queda con la cámara apagadita y espera que todos los compañeros terminen. Right? En dado caso de que no terminemos a las cinco y media, que lo dudo, pero vamos a hacer lo posible, aunque lo dudo, continuaremos el día de mañana con los últimos. ¿Ok? An quizás faltando unos tres minutos antes, nos venimos a la sesión principal y terminamos la clase para continuar el día de mañana. Y como ya no nos Teacher. vamos... Yes? Teacher, I have a question. Es, sure. Yo prefería pasar ahora porque mañana no estoy segura de conectarme. All right. Yeah, it's Tengo okay, Mayra. Uh, let's see, Mayra, you are number two. Vamos de acuerdo a lista. Así ah, que... okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Very good. So, teacher, teacher. Yes. Hello. Uh, do you remember? Can I uh, do it tomorrow, right? Yes, yes. In Thank your you. case, there is a special exception for you when I have time tomorrow, all right? So don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, alrighty. So uh, let's see. Let me do something real quick right now. Vamos a tomar la foto ahorita porque luego ya no vamos a vernos. All right. So let's see the picture. Smile for the camera. So let's see right now. Just give me one second. It's taking it. Let me check right now. All right. Vamos a copiarle y pegarla. Just a second. There we go. All right. Nice. So let's continue. Let's continue. Perfect. All right. So I have 30 people here. Um, uh, 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 let's see, 20, 21. Okay, I am going to create 30 rooms just in case, por si acaso. En la manera posible, porfa, no se salgan. Mientras no se salga su tour, a menos que sea un problema de internet. Porque al salirse, me va a tocar en la sesión del otro compañero estarlo reubicando a usted. All right, así que let's go. Please. Accept the invitations and wait for me. Voy a ir en orden de lista. Así que por orden de alfabeto de nombres. Así que vamos a empezar con los apellidos de la A hasta la Z. Usted calcula más o menos su posición. Ready? Let's go. Please accept the invitations. Y me esperan ahí en cada uno de los cuartitos. All right. Let's go. 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, everyone. Let's go, let's go. No signal que de fuera. Let's go, uh, Elizabeth. Let's go, Rodrigo. All right. Okay. Very good. Hello, Wilbur. You are the lucky one, number one. All right. So that, that's <laughs> cool. That's super cool. All right. So just give me one second. Let me assign Karen. All right. So, Wilbur, your state is, let's see, North Carolina. All right. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Let's go. Two minutes and a half. Let's go. Okay. Uh, North Carolina is a state in the southern region of the United States. The state is the 28th largest and nine most populous of the United States. It is bordered by to the north the Atlantic Ocean to the east, Georgia, and South Carolina to the south. Why is North Carolina called the, the Tar Heel State? Well, the, the, there are a block of pine tree forests in the state of, of North Carolina. There is a sticky fluid that is lies in pine trees and other plants to collect sap. Sap from pine trees can be used to make tar. In colonial times, pine tar were used in cheat, cheat bowl, bowling for about uh, 150 years, North Carolina led the war in pine sap products. Why is North Carolina called the only North state? Well, North Carolina and, and South Carolina used it to be one. It used it to be called the Carolina colony. Then in 1710, they say, no more of, of this, let's split to two. Let, let's split this colony up. Uh, well, have North Carolina to the North and South Carolina to the South. Uh, North Carolina has been called the old North State ever, ever since. Now we are going to look of the flap uh, of the old North State, the, the Tar Hill State, North Carolina. It's a flat, flat uh, that has red, white, and blue. And the middle of the blue section is a white star with the letter N on on, on side uh, and the letter C on the order representing the initials of the state and C. No more. No more. Perfect. Okay, Wilbur. So let's see. Pronunciation errors. Basically, it's just about the pronunciation errors. Uh, porque la, la grammar y la, y la y el vocabulary pues es de documentos que tú tienes ya, yeah, so it's, it's okay, all right? So, for example, eh, region, no es region, es region, region, okay? okay? East, no es east, perdón, tú dijiste est, es east, 
East Region. Carolina, Carolina, right? Carolina. Pareciera que, ay, que eso no tiene, eso no tiene nada como no, ¿verdad? Una, 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 una simple pronunciación te, te puede hacer la diferencia. So, en, en lugar de Carolina es Carolina. East, South Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. North Carolina, South Carolina, all right? Hay dos errores de verbos que esos todavía no lo hemos visto, pero este, la pronunciación de esos verbos. Por ejemplo, used. Tú dijiste used y called. All right? Esos tienen una pronunciación especial que la vamos a ver dentro de un par, un, creo que una semana. All right? Pero se pronuncia okay. used y called. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Y la otra, okay. tú dijiste spread. Perdón, dijiste spread y es spread. ¿Ok? Ah, okay. Así que eso es, eso es en lo que refiere a pronunciación. Me hubiese gustado, Wilbur, que hubieras leído menos. Porque... Sí. <ríe> right? eh, como era información así, era más difícil. Ya, yeah. yeah, es, es un poco más complicado. ¿Ok? Por eso hubieras, hubieras seleccionado, digamos, la información más importante. Like, uh, por ejemplo, no hay capital, populations, cosas más chiquitas que se tuviera facilitado la memorización. ¿All right? Eh, okay, para no leer eh, mucha información tan compleja, digamos. All right? okay. Okay. ok. Wilbur, so, let's see. Eh, por las two, the one, two, three, four, five, six eh, palabras mal pronunciadas, menos la lectura, vamos a poner aquí 8.5. All right? Good job, Wilbur. Thank you. Right? Para Thanks. la próxima, te aconsejo que no, no te quedes con la pronunciación que tú crees que es. Si tienes alguna duda, okay. busca. Ok. Ok. Thank you, thank you, Good job. No te vayas a desconectar, ok? Te quedas con la cámara okay. apagada. All right. Ok. Hello, Mayra. Hello, qué rápido. <laughs> hey, yeah, super cool. All right. Okay. So let's see, Mayra. Your state, let me check right now, it's South Carolina. All right. So let's talk to let's let's talk about South Carolina. Tell me about the information. Let's go. Okay. I will share the top um the top five thing to do in South Carolina. Uh, at number one, we, we have Brook Green Garden. This place is a sanctuary of uh, flora and fauna uh, with a fascinating, fascinating, fascinating butterfly house uh, store on the ground. Um, it's a place where nature and art intertwine offering a setting environment for visitors to explore and enjoy. Um, at number two, Falls Park on the river. This, this park is haven for nature lovers, featuring beautiful waterfall and the, and the suspension bridge. The well-maintained land, landscape uh, Along the the Reedy the Reedy River, uh, and the uh, offer and the um, excellent place for a peaceful stroll. At number three, Broadway at the beach. Uh, this is a shopping paradise paradise with um with variety of store uh, offering something for everyone. Uh, where you're looking for souvenir um, or just want to indulge in, in, in some retail therapy. Um, this play has got, has, has got you covered. 
at number four, Patriot, Patriots Point Naval and, Merit, and Meritan Museum. This play is a treasure trove for history uh, buff. Featuring the USS Georgetown a submarine, um, the Vietnam experience. Um, uh, it's place where uh, you can immer immerse yourself in the rich naval history of the United States. At number five, for Sunter National Monuments. This historical site offer a unique insight into the American Civil War, uh, the ready, the ferry ride to and from the fort, uh, offer a smooth and great view, views, including sighting of Dolphin. No All right. All right, Maida. So let me give you the feedback in Spanish. Bye. Tenía, tenía alguna guía? Uh, para los puntos, sí. Exacto. Eso es importante. Perfecto. No lea todo, sino los puntos importantes. All right? Like in this case. ¿Por qué es, por qué es importante eso? Porque le da más fluidez que ir leyendo. Al ir leyendo, no sé por qué, pero uno se traba más. Pareciera más, uh -huh. más fácil ir leyendo, pero no es más fácil. Se traba más uno, all right? Entonces, ¿sabe cuántos errores le encontré de pronunciación? One. One, Mayra. One. Super good. En lugar de fauna, no es fauna. Es con O. Fauna. Fauna. Flora and fauna. That's it. No es fauna, right? Fauna is like very Salvadorian. It's in Spanish, right? So it is fauna. All right, that's the only thing that, that you mispronounced. Um, con respecto al vocabulario y la gramática, pues todo está bien porque fue información bajada de, de Google, right? De internet. Entonces no hay, como, no hay como malas estructuras porque la información ya está ahí, solo para digerirla y, 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 claro. y, uh, y exponerla. All right, so very good. ¿Cómo se sintió? Oh, pues un poquito, por ti todo un poquito de nervio, pero después me concentraba y sentía que me salía. All right, all right. Se no, a comparación de la primera vez, Mayra, de la primera, ¿se acuerda? La primera vez que, nos, que hicimos esto, mucho mejor. All right. Pero todo requiere paciencia, práctica y que, pues sí, no, 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 no le baje a esto, right? Que mantenga el mismo uh -huh. ritmo. Ok. Sí. Así que, thank you very much. Bye. Por ese errorcito. One, all right? Just one, 9.5, okay? Very good job, Maida. 9.5, all right? Excellent. Okay. Keep practicing. Please, please keep practicing. Usted es una de las mejores. Así que métale. All right? Siga participando. Pregunte, all right? Así que good job. All right? Sí, teacher. Okay. Right. Thank you. Very Thank good. You. Good job. All right? See you. No se vaya a desconectar. Se queda aquí aunque con la cámara apagada, all right? Excellent. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Darling, la estoy esperando en el cuarto 23. Darling, darling. Hello. Hello, darling. I am waiting for you in room 23. ¿Le cayó la invitación del room 23? Uh, no, coach. Es que estoy en el trabajo. Oh, you talk, me, usted me dijo algo del, 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 de eso? Sí. Eh, el... Miércoles, creo que de la semana pasada le mandó un mensaje de que iba a terminar el. el oh, la capacitación. Oh, 
el seminario que me dijo, es usted, ya. ¿De que iba a terminar el módulo como eh, escu solo escuchando? Sí. Ah, ok, ok. Give me just one moment. Ok. Thank you, darling. Ok, cool. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Gabriel. Hello. Give me a second. All right. All right. Take your time. Okay. I'm ready. All right. Excellent. Very good. Gabriel, so what's your state? Illinois. Illinois. All right. The time is all yours. Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Good afternoon, teacher. Today I will talk about the beautiful state located at the middle, uh, the middle west part of the U.S. This is Illinois. The capital of this state is Springfield. Also, now being a busy place, the population there is, there is around 13 millions, uh, 13 millions based on 2021 dat data. Some of the most, uh, most famous cities in Illinois, Illinois are Chicago and Roxford. In Chicago, we can find um, a special building called the Willis Tower. You can enjoy their, their deep dish pizza. Two of the most famous persons from Illinois are Jennifer Hudson, who is an actress and singer. And another famous person is Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton was the first woman to try to become the president of the United States. Uh, the weather can be hot in summer and cold in winter. These are some inter interesting facts of this state. Thank you for listening. All right, Gabriel. Very good. ¿Qué nota te pondrías tú? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? All right. Let's see, Gabriel. Two things. A mucha gente le cuesta pronunciar la R. Like hacer la colocha, hacer la atractiva, hacer la bonita como un gringo, pero a ti no. All right. So that's, that's a plus. All right. So I like the pronunciation of the R's. This is the R. All right. The weather, the is it er, no todos lo hacen. All right, so it's 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 super good that you have that pronunciation. Good vocabulary, good intonation, good grammar. Okay, the grammar and vocabulary is from the text that you downloaded from Google, but it's good pronounced. The fluency is good. No leíste, o si leíste fueron detalles para guiarte, which is perfect. All right, en lugar de solo pasar leyendo. All right, so that is okay. good. Um, uh, that's a plus, all right? So I don't have anything wrong to say. Good pronunciation. All the words were pronounced correctly. Uh, good fluency. Continue doing that, Gabriel. You are one of the best students, all right? So keep doing that, all right? Your final grade is 10, all right? Good job. Thank you, teacher. All right? Thank keep, you. keep connected, okay? Don't disconnect. Just turn okay. off your camera, all right? Okay, thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Gabriel. Bye.
Hello, Elizabeth. Hi, teacher. Are you ready? Um, teacher, le escribí en el chat por WhatsApp. Tú eres una, tú eres ella, ah, perdón, que tengo, me han escrito como cuatro. Give me a second. Tú, tú eres quien está en el seminario, right? Oh, refrescame eh, la mente. Canizales. Ajá, pero. Soy, sí, yo soy Montevideo, fuera del país. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí. Ok, Elizabeth, no, no te preocupes, ok. Sí, yo. Bye, Thank bye. You, Take care. All right. Bye. Elsie, Coreas, are you ready? Hello. Hello, Elsie. Are you ready? No alcancé a escuchar qué es lo que íbamos a hacer y estaba sola en la otra sala. Sí, so, eh, cada una está. Por eso es que necesito que se conecten tempranito, right? So, necesito saber si estás lista con la evaluación oral. A mí me tocó no ayer, sí. All right, perfect. Te voy a mandar a la otra sesión para que estemos eh, aparte, ¿ok? Bye. Okay, Elsie. So let's go. So let let me check your let me check your state right now. Give me just one second. Uh, just one moment. New Jersey, perfect. So let's see, Elsie. Go ahead. I try to share the my screen. All right. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, I in but the state is New Jersey. All right. It is one of the 50 states that along with Washington DC make up the United States and North America. Its capital is Trenton and it's most populous the city Newark. In 2010, it had a population of I don't know if you look. And in habitants and a population density of uh, 4,000. 117 uh, people. It is the most populous city in New Jersey and the 68 in the country. And this is an important industrial, cultural, commercial, and transportation center. And now, in the in New Jersey is now for hot fresh, produce and prepare food like pizza, 
hot dogs and yogurt. I don't know. A small, they say. Family stars, pizzerias. And dinner produce high quality, flavorful food. Trousan, uh, trousan, steak. I don't know what is the the word. And New Jersey is called the Garden State. I imagine that is beautiful. And because this future is many small specialty farm uh, that produce select fruits and vegetables, blueberries and the official state fruit. And New Jersey produce more of the of than that any other state. And one famous that born in New Jersey is Bon Jovi. The name is Francis Stephen Castellus, born in Newark, New Jersey. The 3 of May of 1934. And the weather, the weather uh, in New Jersey, the weather is hot, humid, and wet. The winters are very cool, it's snowy and windy, and it is very cloudy year around. And Basel on the tourists, the best time of the year to visit in New Jersey is for farm weather, for the activities, and from mid-June, uh, to early July and from early August and to late September. And that's it. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you uh, so very much for that. So let's see. Uh, give, me, give me just one second, uh, Elsie. All right. Good pronunciation. Uh, we need to work on some words, like for example, diner, no es diner, perdón, no es dinner, es diner. Diner con una N significa el lugar como cafetería. So se pronuncia diner, no dinner. Dinner es como cena, right? Eh, uh, <clears throat> también el número. A ver, vuelve a la, a la diapositiva donde está el número. Porfa. Okay. Listen. Two hundred... 77,140. Pero tú te me quedas aquí en 2,000. Sí. Ok. So it's 277,140. Igual en el otro, donde dice 4,000. Y luego dijiste 117. All right. One, I mean, 4,100. 17 people per kilometer uh, uh, square. All right? Good. All righty. La, la, la presentación con un plus. Thank you very much. All right? Nice presentation. A concise information. Okay, so thank you very much. Sigamos trabajando en alguna palabrita que cuando tú no la conozcas, la buscas para que no la pronuncies como, como, como um, uh, te imaginas que es. All right? So, very good, eh, Elsie. Me hubiese gustado verte con la cámara encendida para poder evaluar eh, eso también, ¿verdad? Pero está bien, no sé qué. Tenemos nueve, ¿ok? Elsie, oh, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. All right. Hello, Marvin. Hi, teacher. Hello, Marvin. Give me just one Hello. second. All right. How are you, Marvin? Everything okay? Perfect. Yeah. 
All right. So talk to me about the beautiful state of New York. New York. Yep. New York and the new Astana. And New York is located in the mouth of the Houston River and southeastern and New, New York State, northeastern the USA. It's in the largest and the most influential American metropolis. Encompassing Manhattan and State Island, the western sections of Long Island and a small portion of the New York State mainland to the north of Manhattan. Okay. New York City is reality of collection of many neighborhoods. And Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx, and Queens in the state island. It, each exhibiting its own lifestyle, moving from one city neighborhood to the next maybe like passing from one country to another. New York is the most populous and the most international city in the country. And the city side, the cities, New York is the most ethnic, diverse, religious, religious, religious period, and commercially driven, and families con gays, and the eyes of many, the most attractive urban center in the country. No other city has contributed, contributed more image, images to the collective consciousness of America. And Wall Street means finances. Broadway is synonymous with theater. Fifth Avenue is automatically paid with shopping. Madison Avenue means the RC industry. And Greenwich Bio Canos Bohemian lifestyle. And 7th Avenue, significant fashion, and Tabani Hall defines machine politics. The weather in New York. In January, is about 30 degrees. and June, about 72 degrees. But recorded temper temperature extreme range from minus 15 to 106 degrees. Because only in New York, moderate clean, the harbor rarely freezes. The annual precipitation is 44 inches. The cultural life. And Manhattan is the cultural attraction generated by New York for more than a century. And talented but organized artists are well ambition, wanna be from every part of the globe. Our nation have gravitated to the city. They feel is their spiritual home. A steady stream of the cultural elite flows toward to the metropolis and creates an electronic electric atmosphere in virtually every artistic field and theater, music, dance, painting, literature, fashion, film, and prime in sports. That city is the place to go to see if you can make it. The city teacher. All right. Okay, Marvin. Yes. Let's say Marvin. Can you repeat the name of the river that we find in New York? Hudson River. Okay. You forget it. It's just Hudson. Uh, it's Hudson. Yeah. Hudson, Hudson River. Now, another word. Yes. Uh, fi, you said financed. 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 Mm -hmm. Financiado. Financed. All right. Another word. Yes. Es una de las más complicadas de pronunciar. Literature, no, it's literature, it's literature, literature. It yeah. contributed, contributed, by. No tengo mayor objeción, solo tengo dos objeciones. Una, esas poquitas palabras mal, mal pronunciadas, y dos, que estabas leyendo. Yeah. Right? You were reading. All right? So, necesitabas 
elegí las ideas más fáciles para que no tuvieras eh, necesidad de leer. All right? So, uh, porque cuando le decía a Mayra, por ejemplo, cuando uno lee, está atado a eso y vas, pareciera más fácil, pero no, se oye más robótico al leer que al tú expresarte con mayor facilidad sin leer. All right? So, hacerlo un reto. All right, for the next time, uh, mm -hmm. don't read. All right, don't read. And uh, uh, um, tampoco memorizar porque no sirve de nada. Solo understand the idea, expresarla. Eso requiere práctica. Practice yourself, right? Write the ideas, pronounce the words, practice the sentences and all that. It va a salir mucho mejor. All right? So I don't have any other, any other complaint. Because of the rating thing, all right, your final score is 8.5. All right. Okay. Thank you, Marvin. Stay connected, okay? okay? All right. Pamela. Hola, teacher. Hello, are you ready? Teacher, hasta now se ha All right. Let's see. All right. What is your What is your state? It's Texas. All right. Super easy. Super easy, Pamela. All right. Let's go. I'm all ears. Let's go. Good afternoon, teacher. I am going to talk about the state of Texas. Texas is located in the south part of the United States. Its capital is Houston. Texas is a large state wide with pine forests and the Rio Grande tap for the board in Texas. It has one of the five arts museum. Mm, tap, mm, tap has works be renowned impre, impression impressioning and renounce painters. The capital is recognized for, for, for having a variety of musical scenes and the presidential library. It's typical food in creepy tacos, crispy chalupas, Nachos and it's famous for Beijing, the birthplace of famous actors and singers such as Matthew McConaughey, Beyonce, Selena Gomez, and Jamie Fox. Uh, la palabra clima. Weather. And the weather is wind and 
call and the right more of the years. Thank you. All right, Pamela. Texas is super easy. There are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people from there. A lot of things. All right. Good. Nice. So let's see, Pamela. Hubieron algunas palabras mal pronunciadas. All right. Eh, located. Eso todavía no lo hemos visto. Sin embargo, cuando tú te encuentres una palabra que no sepas cómo pronunciarla, búscala. All right. Y no digas, okay. ah, bueno, located. ¿Cómo se va? Or located. No. All right. So, o, o cualquier otra palabra. Like recognized. Dijiste, no me acuerdo cómo dijiste, pero no dijiste recognized. Como re, I, no, I don't remember, but it was not recognized. So, este, eh, trata de buscar esas pronunciaciones. Ok. Este, okay. otra cosa, trata de leer menos, porque se nota. Aunque no tengo la cámara encendida, bien se nota cuando una persona está leyendo porque va despacio. All right. Si tú te acostumbras a leer, se te, se te va a eh, dificultar la fluidez. So, just try, try to uh, get the main ideas, try to summarize everything, and you will speak faster in practice. Esto es práctica, Pamela, all right? So, yes. uh, let me grade you right now. Oh, y otra cosa. Me hubiera gustado ver tu cámara encendida, pero that's okay, all right? Así que, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you an 8.5, all right? So stay stay connected. I'll be back in the in the group in another moment, all right? Okay. Thank, Thank you, you. Pamela. All right. Hello, Imelda. All right. Are you ready? No, the uh, the microphone. I I can hear you. <laughs> oh, come on! Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What is your What is your state? Use Wisconsin. Okay, Wisconsin. Perfect. So let me put right here, Wisconsin. Give me a second. Let's see, Melda. Where are you? Where are you? Let's see. Oh, I got you here. Wisconsin. All right, Melda, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Wisconsin is located in the Midwest, Midwest region in the USA. It was admitted as a state on May 29th, 1848. Its capital is Madison, and its most populous city is Milwaukee. Most of Wisconsin is warm summer, maybe for the proximity to several rivers and, and lakes. Among some are the, um, the Wisconsin River, Mississippi River, uh, the Michigan Lake, and Super Lake. Wisconsin has a strong has a strong influence, German influence in its culture mm, due to the large numbers of German uh, immigrants um, that, is, that settled in, this, in its cities. Its main cities are, its main cities are Green, Green Bay, Madison, yes, um, Milwaukee, Oshkosh, Gainesville, La Crosse, um, Marshfield, among others. In Wisconsin, uh, you can enjoy a different attraction um, every season of the year. In in the winter, in the winter, um, Wisconsin is perfect for practice snow sports. When spring comes, Door County is the is the site of of Cherry Blossom shows, and you can stay in 
in a lakeside um, in a lakeside cottage, cottage in the summer. Wisconsin is the super club king. Uh, these are a restaurant with a life life social uh, social life social life and, and we can go with a family and, and there is a wide there is a wide variety of food and I think uh, uh, um, what no is is it more cheap is most cheap than other places than other restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Wisconsin is a cheese making capital. It's a beer place of Frank Lloyd Wright. It's a home of the Harley Davidson in land, in land of 11 nat Native uh, American tribes. The Frank Lloyd Wright Trail is a tour of the most recognized uh, world of the famous Wisconsin board architect. American football is the star sport in Wisconsin. The people celebrate before the game outside Landview Field Stadium to cheer on their national team, the Green Bay Packers. Regarding food and its production, um, the cheese and blueberries are, are the most representative of Wisconsin, uh, the 60% percent of the blueberries in the USA are produced in Wisconsin. Um, finally, uh, fans of outdoors and enjoying family time uh, will be drawn to, to this state. It is uh, definitely a place I would like to travel to. Perfect. It's a, it's a, it's a, a place uh, familiar. In... It's a, uh, uh, I, según lo que vi, teacher, se miraba bonito. All right. <laughs> according, according to what I read, it looks beautiful. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Imelda. That was a good job. Very good. Relax and relax. Look very confident nice. about what you're reading. Uh, es, te guiabas por, no leíste todo, esto fue bueno. Tenías como guía, right? Like, like a little, like a little um, sentences or a script in order to guide yourself, which is good. So, eh, perfecto. Solo hay dos errorcitos. Número uno, region. De región no es region. Es, re, perdón, es region. Region. Y superior, no es superior, es supi, superior. Superior, all right? Uh, Imelda, you did a great job. Uh, por esos dos errorcitos, por como no fue perfecto, all right? De, la nota va a ser 9.5, all right? Excellent job, excellent job, Imelda. Continúa así, ok, practícalo, eh, háblalo, así como sigues en la clase. Eh, levanta la mano, pregunta, ok, ¿qué eso se aprende? All right? Good job, good job, I like it. All right. Hello, Kenny. Hello, coach. All right. All right. You ready? Yes. Perfect. So what is your state? I'm going to talk about Massachusetts. Perfect. Go ahead, Kenny. Okay. The capital of Massachusetts is Boston. And they, the population of Massachusetts um, is six million. Um, the most popular landmark is Boston Harbor. The the Boston Harbor is a natural um, 
is 20 of Massachusetts Bay and it's located um, adjacent of the city of Boston. And the, the one of my favorite landmark of Massachusetts is the Salinwich Museum. Is about the the witch trial of um sixty eighty two and is based of the actual um document of the trials of which um. Moreover, um, the, lo the location of Massachusetts is, is in the north, north, northern of the United States. And one of, one of the traditional food is the, is the Boston cream pea. It's a cake with a cream um, filling. And one of the, uh, one famous of Massachusetts is John F. Kennedy. Um, he, he born in Brooklyn, Massachusetts. And the weather in Massachusetts is snowy winters and warm summers. That's it? And yes. All right, all right. Uh, Kenny, so let's begin. Let's see, hay algunas palabras Por ejemplo, cream pie, estoy seguro que es cream pie. Creo que es pie, ¿verdad? The P, 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 E. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cream pie. All right. Eh, based es based. Aunque todavía no hemos visto eso, pero yo le decía a la otra alumna. Cuando tengas alguna duda de cómo se pronuncia una palabra, pues solo la buscas, right? Para no pronunciarla como pensamos que es, all right? Sino como una buena pronunciación. También eh, de gramática, solo te puedo decir, donde decía he born, de John F. Kennedy, he born, te faltó el was, he was born, él nació en, he was born in, all right, ok, so, hay que practicar eso, Kenny, y otra cosa que hay que practicar es acelerar un poquito más el, el, el paso del hablar, ok, para que no se oiga tan lento, podemos eh, usar contracciones de palabras, para que salga un poco más fluido. All right? Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, perfect. And uh, I'm gonna give you the score right now. It's got, basado en la, la pronunciación, algunos errores de pronunciación, el error de gramática, la fluidez que hay que mejorarla. 8.5, okay? All eight, right, Kenny? 8.85 sería verdad. That's correct, 8.5. All right? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Kenny. Bye. Hello, Astrid. Are you ready? Yeah, all right. Just activate the microphone because I can't hear you. <laughs> all right. Good. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Yeah. So, Hi. what is the name of your state? Repeat. What's the name of your state? Uh, Hawaii. Okay. 
Okay, tell me about Hawaii. Go ahead. Abuela, abuela. Uh, Hawaii is of the fittest, one of the fittest states at, at Far East United States and its capital, capital among, capital among popular city is Honolulu. Uh, Hawaii is located in the Central Pacific Ocean, Southwestern in the United States. The pocket is traditional Hawaiian meal. And the Barack Obama and uh, Nicole Kidman is, is from original the Hawaii. The, we touched a little about the, when, the water. Um, the water in the if in the in Hawaii Island is very clear. Only two seasons: summer, uh, winter. That's it. Finish. All right. That's okay. Finish. Let's see. Um, number one, island. No Iceland, all right? Island. La S es muda. Es island, all right? Porque okay. si tú dices Iceland, te refieres a Islandia. No de Islandia. Mm. Okay. Islandia se dice Iceland, all right? Okay. Okay. And the other about grammar, about grammar is, uh, cuando tú dices Nicole Kidman and Barack Obama is from original... Of Hawaii. Esa estructura está mal. La, la correcta es Nico, eh, Barack Obama and Nicole Kidman son dos personas. So they are, no is, they are original from Hawaii. Okay. So it's very, it's very, it's very different. All right. So let's see. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? La nota aquí es la siguiente. Número uno, fue menos tiempo de establecido, Astrid, menos tiempo de los dos minutos y medio, all right, teniendo en cuenta el, el error de gramática, el error de pronunciación, nota final, 8.5, all right. Ok, teacher. Perfect, Astrid. Lo que sí me gustó que te voy a decir es que lo que dijiste, lo, lo, lo dijiste fluido, eso es bueno. All right. Okay. No sé si estabas leyendo o algo, o, o tenías ideas escritas, pero si es así, salió muy fluido y eso es súper bueno, ¿all right? Porque okay. te da, te da eh, confidence, ay, se me olvidó confidence, como seguridad de lo que tú estás diciendo. Right? Se nota que no estás leyendo, ¿all right? Good okay. job. All right, thank That's you. <laughs> Thanks. All right. All right, uh, Wendy, ready? Yes, teacher. Perfect. What is the name of your state? Uh, North Dakota. North Dakota. All right, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I am going to North. I am going to talk about North Dakota. It is located in the Upper Midwest region of the United States. Is light at the center of, of the North American continent on borders Canada to the north. Uh, the geographic the geographic center of North America is near the town of Center. Bismarck is the capital of North Dakota, and Fargo is the largest city. Uh, soil in North Dakota's most precious resources. It is the base 
of the states with uh, agricultural well. Mm, North Dakota has a continental climate with warm summer and cold winters. Uh, outdoor attraction like the Mada Hill Trail and activities uh, like fishing and hunting attract visitors. Uh, this day is not for the Lewis. Clark try and bring the winter can of the park of discovery. Um, areas popular with visitors include Theodoro Roosevelt Park, National Park, pardon, in the western part of the states. Uh, other museums place in North Dakota, uh, Missouri. Yellowstone Concrete Interpretive Center for Onion Writing Post National History Site, Scandinavian Heritage Park, Light Sacagawea and Warrison Dam for Abraham Lincoln State Park, and Dakota Sioux and others. Uh, there are spring ghost hunting in North Dakota, and also Pia Sam, a bone in North Dakota. That's Thanks. Super. Excellent, Wendy. I have two Hi. things only. Dos errores. Number one, que son de pronunciación. Nada más. Uno es okay. located. No es located. Located, located. se escribe y, se, y, se, y se, se lee. No, pero no es located. Es located. La A es A. Located. Okay. Y cuando se habla más rápido, okay. la T se vuelve R, located, located, all right? Okay. Y la otra, Wendy, no es geographic, es geo, geographic, como, como el canal, National Geographic, okay. all right? El canal okay. de televisión, all right, very good. Oh, otra cosa, tienes que también utilizar los, este, por ejemplo, se te salió, perdón, en español. <laughs> Right? So, en vez de perdón, hubiera sido oh, sorry. All right? Sorry. Pero eso okay. lo da la práctica. Ok, no se preocupe. Así que, excellent job. Por esos dos errorcitos, Wendy, 9.5. Good job. Good okay. job. Y siga así, siga así, please, practicing. Haga preguntas. Usted es la que más participa. Sin miedo a nada, porque entre más nos equivocamos, más aprendemos. All right, Wendy? Okay, Thank you, Wendy. Job. Good job. All right? All right. Karen Madai Martinez. Hello, Karen. Hi, All right. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Perfect. All right. Let's go, Karen. Okay. Um, this is my turn uh, to tell about um Nevada and Carson City. Is a is a capital, but um, Las Vegas stands out the famous gamble and gamble mecca, the city that's never sleeping, and the lo and location. Ah, sorry. And population home to over and two point nine million people, and and that is in 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 Nevada, and Nevada in a re, uh, is a region of the United States and call it the West. Uh,
and this uh and any uh, any and tradition of food is ring cocktail cocktail uh, is a popular and and appetizers that's uh, offered on menus at the coast cross neva and Um, Nevada is a city of of Las Vegas, and um, Jane Lane Milon is an across an uh, actress who was born in November mid November, Um, Nevada is a um, desert in United States. United States. That is, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Uh, Karen, let's see. A ver. Los nervios nos traicionaron en, en algunas palabras. Ejemplo, locatation. What is that? Locatation. Eso no existe, Karen. All right. <laughs> y All lo right. tengo bien marcado, teacher. Mire. <laughs> All right. Okay, exactly. That is sí, but it's almost never right. All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's location. Okay, okay, location. Another appetizers. Uh-uh. Appetizers. Appetizers. Yes, no appetizers, right? Appetizers. All right. So basically that. Yes. I could have had in una cosa eh, Karen. Que se llama yes. fluidez. All right? Si tú tienes libros, vaya, aunque no tengas libros, métete a una página, por ejemplo, de CNN en inglés y lee un parrafito, uno, no te pido que leas toda la página, uno diario, un parrafito de unas cinco líneas para practicar la pronunciación. Te va a servir. Oh, okay. Y adem además de que vas a aumentar tu vocabulario. ¿verdad? Este, sí, sí. Para que no se oiga muy cortado. All right. Es para que no se quede así como él decía, que como los niños cuando van aprendiendo a leer, ¿verdad? Está bien, pero con el, con el tiempo hay que ir agarrando más velocidad. All right. Y eso solo sí. lo da la práctica. All right. Lee y no leas en voz baja, porque eso no sirve. All right. Porque uno se distrae. Y es bueno leer en voz alta, porque así tú te oyes lo que vas diciendo. All right. Y sí. las palabras que te suenen extrañas búscalas, no te, que no se te quede eh, ay como salga no, right, sino que búscalas para que este, no tengas mayor dificultad en eso, alright, ok sí, very good, sí. hazlo un reto okay. eso que te digo de leer un poquito todos los días hazlo un reto, alright no te va a llevar más de 10 minutos Karen. no te va a llevar más de 10 minutos, ok un poquito, o si tú quieres pues lees un libro que te, te agrade en inglés y lees un parrafito de, en línea sin necesidad de comprar, right? Que te llame la atención y un parrafito todos los días para que te ayude, uh -huh. all right? So, Karen, very good, very good. So, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a nine, all right? Por, por, eh, ojo con los, la pronunciación, all right? Ojo con la pronunciación. Las palabras. Haré una plana. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Las palabras que tú, que tú tengas duda mm, se van con pura práctica. Location, location. Muchas veces, location. Las escribes. Y así hago, teacher. Mira, aquí tengo mis papelitos. Veo, lo voy repitiendo y lo voy. Lo estoy en la cocina y lo estoy repasando Excelente. porque yo sé Excelente. que me traba la lengua. <ríe> Pero así es, es normal. Se nos traba todos de las primeras palabras, ¿ok? Pero luego con la costumbre y con la práctica salen bien fluidos. ¿All right? Okay, así que, Karen, teacher, excellent job. ¿All right? Bueno. Ok, stay here. No te vayas a desconectar. Bueno, teacher. All right.
Hello, Katya. Are you ready? Hello, Katya, Katya. Hi, teacher. Hello, um, are you ready? Yes, but I am in the Dollar City now. Oh, okay. Okay, so can you do it today? Uh, podría hacerlo mañana. Tomorrow, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it for tomorrow, okay? Bueno, muchas gracias. Perfect. All right, don't worry. Bye bye. Lilian Hernandez, ah no, Ramirez Hernandez, are you there? Perfect. Oh, the microphone. I can't, I can't hear you. Okay. All right, Lilian. What is the yes. name of your state? I am Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Ready? Let's go, Oklahoma. Okay. In Oklahoma, is the uh... 50 largest oil production producing and a state on the United States. Uh, Oklahoma is a recon recognizing uh, as a perfect place uh, to invest, invest, and, invest and, uh, the business tanks to its a favorable um, business environment. And is a wide variety of uh, natural resources. <clears throat> and Oklahoma is known for this, for its uh, cowboy culture, uh, Native American history, uh, for nature, from uh, mm, from uh, its a uh, iodine um production to its oil and gas industry and um, eh, there is much to learn about uh, this state it, in its name uh, from the Choctaw uh, words and Okla and Huma eh, meaning um, red red people and it's uh, in formally known by nickname to the Sooner, uh, Sooner State. Mm, um, this, this because in, uh, in uh, 80, 80, 80, 80, 89, uh, the Indian Territory uh, was opening to settler and the Oklahoma population is a uh, three points and uh, ninety-eight-seven million and it's a uh, twenty on uh, twenty-one. Um, uh, uh, is a landmark in a uh, centennial uh, run uh, monument monument and a uh, uh, monument and statues and. Uh, Chickasaw, Brickton Ballpark, and uh, Chesapeake, and uh, Energy Arena, and uh, State Capitol, and uh, Wall Art District, uh, Wall Art District, is a national, a, a national a, a state. Oklahoma is one of the 50 um, states that along with um, Washington, D.C. Um, make up the United States is a capital and a most populous city is Oklahoma City. Uh, it's um, on lo loca locally located in, uh, in the south 
uh, region of the country, Southwest Center um, Division. It's a border to the Northwest Kansas and to the Northwest by um, Missouri. Um, the east, uh, the east, uh, the east by uh, Kansas and to the south by Texas. Mm. He, um, he, it was the 50 uh, late to be admitted uh, to the union of the November uh, 16, uh, and well, and 1,907 and as the 46th uh, state, I have uh, New Mexico, Arizona, and Alaska in uh, Hawaii. Yes. And the, um, the food is, uh, there is a um, official official statement it's, uh, that includes fried okra and cornbread, um, pork, pork barbecue, and a pumpkin. Biscuit and uh, a corn a porridge and corn only in a, a, a the person that's uh, very very um famous and the popular Oklahoma actors including Bill Brad Pitt and James Marsden, Chuck Norris, um, Bill Hyder. A Mason that it's about uh, it's a name a, a few people a uh, very uh, uh, average a year around and uh, the claim the climate and the weather uh, in Oklahoma <laughs> the summer is are hot and muggy and the winters are very cold snowy and the snowy and the windy and it's a partly cloudy year around during the course of the year the temperature generally um ranges from uh, minus one degree celsius to 34 degrees celsius uh rarely drops below minus eight degrees celsius or or rises above um 39 degree on um, on Celsius and it and that's a a little uh little Oklahoma I can talk about uh, now. Perfect. Good, Lillian. Nice. Uh, no te puedo corregir más que una palabra. En lugar de invest, invest. Es muy importante In dónde va el acento en la palabra, right? Okay. En lugar de invest, es la, la el acento va en best. Invest. invest. All right. All right. Very good. Continúa practicando. Se, se vio, si estabas leyendo, está bueno porque tenías frases que te iban guiando. No sé si lo tenías así. Right. No fue una lectura estricta de monótona del párrafo, lo cual es bueno porque no ibas leyendo, sino que te ibas guiando. All right. Por la lectura. All right. Uh, tal vez hay que mejorar, eh, Lilian en la seguridad, para que nos dé más rapidez al hablar, all right y eso solo lo da la práctica, o sea que yo le decía a Karen, por ejemplo lean un ratito, lean unos 3 4 minutitos al día, una noticia chiquita de CNN, por ejemplo por ponerte un ejemplo la lees, pero no la leas en mental léele en voz alta so, esa es una buena técnica, leerlo en voz alta, para que tú te oigas lo que vas hablando, y tú, tu misma práctica te va diciendo, no, eso está mal pronunciado lo voy a volver a leer, all right? Y eso te va a dar agilidad, all right? So, no te puedo calificar otra cosa más, Lilian, eh, solo por esa, digamos, la, la, lo que hay que mejorar en la fluidez y la, y la, la palabra de invest, nine. Your grade it's a very, is nine. It's a, a very, very nervous. Uh, very yeah, I know. Nervous. I know. Así que don't worry, don't worry, okay? Pero nine is good, all right? So, practiquémoslo para la próxima para llegar al diez, all right? Okay. Pero por ahorita es bueno, all right? Thank you, Lillian. Good job. All right.
All right, people. Okay, so we are going to stop right now for a moment because it's about 5.30, okay? We are going to stop right now. Vamos a continuar el día de mañana. Suertudos los que no pasaron ahora porque tienen un día más, all right, para practicar. O sea que lo pueden hacer mejor todavía, all right? Me faltan un poco. Mañana vamos a empezar directamente con, let's see, Mañana vamos a empezar con, let me check the date right here, eh, Claudia, Rodrigo, Debra, Eva, Miriam, eh, Raquel, Dominga, José y Elena. Ellos son los primeros y luego vamos a pasar los que no terminaron de pasar, que por algún motivo no pudieron estar presentes ahora. Ok, so... Uh, ya les di sus feedbacks, sus notas a los que ya pasaron. Okay? So, guys, see you tomorrow. Excellent job. See you tomorrow. Todos, aunque usted ya pasó ahora, mañana tiene que conectarse porque los minutos le cuentan mañana también. All right? Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Mañana, mientras usted no está haciendo nada en la cámara, puede estar avanzando en la plataforma. All right? Para porque yo sé que después otro tiempo fuera de este, bien difícil encontrarlo. Ok, so, okay. thank you guys. See you tomorrow at four. Los que no han pasado, please continue to practice and see you, see you tomorrow. Ready? Have a good rest of the day. Enjoy uh, the evening and see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Okay. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. Thank Bye. you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 You're welcome. Bye now.